Hello everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Raffle and thank you for watching today's video. So today we're gonna talk about the state of Battlefield 3 in 2022, if it's still fun, if it's worth coming and playing and all those kind of things. And it almost feels like it's a tradition at this point on my channel. Every year making a Battlefield 3 video talking about its current state and how it is and if you should come back. I've made one for 2020, I made then another one for 2021 when I said that I wasn't expecting to make one for 2022 simply because you know 2042 would come out and i was expecting that game to actually you know take the remaining small community that buff the three has to this day but obviously 2042 failed so here we are back at buff the three and buff the four so how is buff the three in 2022 Look, the game is still the best battle title in my opinion, that will never change. Even 11 years later, the game looks nice, yeah, of course, there are a couple of, you know, small parts of its map or some, you know, uh, effects or whatever, some visual effects, some smoke, uh, you know, blowing up and things like that from explosions that you look at it and you're like, yeah, it looks outdated, but at the end of the day, that doesn't affect, you know, your actual gameplay, it doesn't affect how much fun you're having. I would much rather prefer play a game that looks average than play a game that looks great, but it plays like shit. Even with 2042 that's supposed to be, you know, amazing uh, and a love letter to the fans, it really doesn't look that great. I mean, Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1, in my opinion, still are the best looking Battlefield titles, but I don't think that the way a game looks determines if it could be fun or not, so it's just, you know, whatever, let's move on. Even most importantly though, than how a game looks, how a game feels and how it plays, and in those two departments, Battlefield 3 is, in my opinion, the best title in the franchise. It feels and it plays amazingly good. The gameplay is by far the best one on the series and the maps are simply amazing. The team who designed those maps obviously cared about the game, obviously loved the game and loved what they did and they knew what they were doing. They knew what makes a good map and what makes a bad map and they came out with some of the greatest maps I've ever played in any FPS shooter. Maps that are much better than Battlefield 4 maps, Battlefield 1 maps and Battlefield 5 maps and definitely 2042 maps. Maps like Saint Crossing, Grand Bazaar, Damavan Peak, all those maps are simply amazingly designed, amazingly good. Uh, if you haven't tried them out, you need to come and try them out. A lot of people believe that Battlefield 4 is the best game in the series. In my opinion, that's Battlefield 3. I'm not saying that Battlefield 4 is a bad game, but I think that Battlefield 3 does everything literally better than Battlefield 4. Sadly, however, there aren't many servers running on PC, maybe 5 with 10 servers and half of them are full. The rest are filled with bots or fake players. Just to show you in the bot log what I mean, if you click on a server and then you go and click on so will players, at least will drop down with the names of players. When you see somebody named unknown that's not a player, that's a bot, that's, you know, not even a bot like in the meaning that you will be able to kill the bot in game, just a bot for the bot log side, so it counts up numbers and, you know, it shows that the server is not dead, so players will actually join the server. So, uh, during, you know, not prime times, all of the servers have a couple of unknown players in them, unknown bots or whatever they are, just to boost the player numbers and make players join them. It is an issue, but as soon as you figure which servers actually are almost all day full, then you know which servers to join and you will not have to deal with that. I know how the game is on consoles, since I don't play there, but on PC I can tell you that there are a couple of servers full on a daily basis uh, without any bots, all that that we just talked about. That means that you will be able to enjoy the game. However, if you're looking to play specific maps or game modes, you might have a hard time doing so, since on PC I think there are 4 or 5 good servers up and running, only 2 of them include uh, DLC maps in them. If you're looking to buy the game for the very first time now, I would advise you to get it at a very low price since you're not gonna experience every bit of content. Some maps are not being played as we just talked about, however, even without playing every map or every game mode, you can still have a lot of fun playing this title for the very first time. I think that it offers something that other games simply don't, even Battle 4, I don't think that it can capture the feeling that Battle 3 offers to its audience. If you're not a new player, but you think about coming back, I would 100% recommend you to do so. Everything this game does, it does it really well. The maps we just talked about earlier are most of them brilliant. The gunplay is the best gunplay in the series. 
no stupid skins, no stupid character models, no nothing. Simple, you know, weapon customization that works great and actually affects your gun performance. Great gun fights, great gunplay, amazing sniping. This game is just a masterpiece in almost every aspect of it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope that you find the video helpful. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye.